In the previous part, we learned how to create a zoom animation using position keyframes with a null layer. Today, we'll take it a step further and learn how to use both position and orientation together. Turn on the 3D switch for that pre-comp layer. Now add a null object to your timeline and enable 3D for it as well. This setup allows the null to control the camera movement. Select the null layer and add keyframes to both the position and orientation properties. Then, move a few frames forward and change their values to create a movement. Open the graph editor and adjust the speed graph to form a mountain-like shape. Now duplicate that null layer. This new duplicate will help you create additional camera angles. Parent this duplicated null to the original one so that it continues from the previous camera movement. Add keyframes on the new null layer as well, again on position and orientation, and change values to define the new angle. Don't forget to adjust the speed graph again for smoothness. While animating, try to keep your video's main subject centered in the frame. This helps maintain focus and improves the visual composition. Once the animation is done, go to the pre-comp layer and apply the motion tile effect. Use the same settings I showed earlier to avoid black borders when zooming or shaking. Finally, apply your color correction and add velocity smoothing to your camera motion to give it a cinematic, polished look. You're done. You've now created a smooth, dynamic 3D camera animation using both position and orientation with a null controller.